Hello and welcome again to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional Maranatha, the Lord is coming by Ellen G. White. Today's reading is March the 10th, the highest kind of meditation. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. 1 John 3 verse 1 What love, what matchless love that sinners and aliens as we are we may be brought back to God and adopted into his family. We may address him by the endearing name, Our Father. All the paternal or fatherly love, which has come down from generation to generation through the channel of human hearts, all the springs of tenderness, which have opened in the souls of men, are but as a tiny rill or brook to the boundless ocean when compared with the infinite, exhaustless love of God. Tongue cannot utter it, pen cannot portray it. You may meditate upon it every day of your life. You may search the scriptures diligently in order to understand it. You may summon every power and capability that God has given you in the endeavor to comprehend the love and compassion of the Heavenly Father. And yet there is an infinity beyond. You may study that love for ages. Yet you can never fully comprehend the length and the breadth, the height and the depth of the love of God in giving His Son to die for the world. Eternity itself can never fully reveal it. Yet as we study the Bible and meditate upon the life of Christ and the plan of redemption, these great themes will open to our understanding more and more. Christ came to reveal God to the world as a God of love, full of mercy, tenderness, and compassion. It would be well to spend a thoughtful hour each day reviewing the life of Christ from the manger to Calvary. We should take it point by point and let the imagination vividly grasp each scene, especially the closing ones of his earthly life. By thus contemplating his teachings and sufferings and the infinite sacrifice made by him for the redemption of the race, we may strengthen our faith, quicken our love, and become more deeply imbued or inspired with the spirit which sustained our Savior. If we would be saved at last, we must all learn the lesson of penitence or repentance and faith at the foot of the cross. Everything noble and generous in man will respond to the contemplation or consideration of Christ upon the cross. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God, the highest kind of meditation. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you for being God, our Father, Alpha and Omega. We praise Christ for being our high priest, our sacrifice, our savior. We praise the Holy Spirit for being our comforter, our God, our guide, our spirit of truth. We confess we're sinners and we ask for your forgiveness, your cleansing, the covering of Christ's righteousness and filling with the Holy Spirit that we can have the latter rain power to finish your work. We thank you for this message. Even as we listen to it, we try to understand it and we cannot. That the love of God is beyond our understanding. We will never fully understand it. That it's just there is no comparison to it. But we thank you that we have been given a image of God, an express image in the face of Christ. That when we see what Christ did for us, sinners who hated Christ, who hated you, that you sent Christ, that he came willingly to become a man and died on the cross for us, that he left heaven for us to redeem us, to restore us to a relationship with you, that we may be once again called your sons. This is something we should spend time on because this is this opens to us the understanding of what true love is. As humans, sinful humans, we often look at love being conditional if one does something that next will do that something in return but you love unconditionally and you say if we look into the life of Christ if we study the life of Christ especially from the manger to Calvary but especially if we study the closing hours 
you will truly get a glimpse of this agape love. This love that will change us, that we will have a true love for our fellow man and a love for you. Lord, we want that love. So help us to find that thoughtful hour every day to spend that time in prayer, that time in devotion, even time in evangelism. To spend, especially first, that thoughtful hour every day studying your word, the life of Christ, meditating on it and reflecting on it, going through your scriptures in the reading that we can know the love of God which exceeds our understanding, but it will be reflected in us and we will learn of it more and more as time goes on. We thank you for this blessing as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.